Hi guys, this is Brooklyn Webb and you're watching Get Ready With Me. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do kind of like a soft glam look, which is kind of what I do from everyday day to day. So let's get into it. The first thing I'm starting off with is the Ule Henriksen Strength Trainer Moisturizer, which I like to use this as just an overall primer for all of my makeup. It's literally my favorite thing ever. I usually don't like primers just because of the way that they sit underneath my foundation. So I switched over to using night creams and moisturizers and it has made my foundation look so much more glowy and dewy and natural and just instead of like sitting on top of my skin, actually sitting on my skin, which I love. Next thing I'm using is the Tint Idole. I don't think I'm pronouncing that right, but this foundation from Lancome, it's been my favorite, my go-to for like a year now. I've tried some other stuff, but this one is just the best in my opinion for me. But I mean, makeup is literally such a personal preference and everyone's skin type is completely different. So everything's gonna work totally different on other people's skin. Now I'm just gonna use my damp beauty blender to blend it out. With water products, I always love using a damp beauty blender because I just find once again, it makes it sit so much nicer on the skin. <laughs> Foundation is my favorite step, but it's also my least favorite step at the same time. <laughs> Next thing that I'm gonna do is just go in with a little bit of concealer. I used to use way too much, and that's probably one of my biggest beauty mistakes. I used to go and do like the huge triangles all the way down my face, which just for me, I don't personally need that much concealer, especially with foundation already on. And it would just make me look really cakey and it was not the vibe. <laughs> Blending is my favorite step, but my, also my least favorite step because it takes so long. Now next, I'm just gonna set it all down with my Makeup Forever setting powder. This is my favorite because I feel like it's literally the only setting powder that actually sets down my makeup and makes it not transfer onto like clothes or just in general if I get sweaty throughout the day or like under my mask this never transfers for me some days I'll do my makeup and only set like my t-zone but if I'm going for a full day and I need it to last for like 10 hours and still look the same then I'll usually set my entire face like today now next, I'm gonna start going in blush, which I've been using this little tiny baby pink dandelion one from Benefit, and it's just so pretty. I used to be really into doing a bit more of a heavier blush, but I feel like now I'm like, oh, let's switch it up. So I've been loving this little baby pink one. Some of my other favorites have been like the Charlotte Tilbury one that Madison Beer was using and a lot of other people that went viral on TikTok. I have all three of those and those are super pretty and those are also my go-tos. But sometimes powder is just so much easier. And then I like to put just a little bit of blush on my nose, just on the tip. I think that it is so cute. And the next, I'm just using the little Benefit Hula Bronzer. I have a full size. I don't know what it is with these mini pans, but I've just been loving them. I think that they're adorable. I always start from the back of my face, and then I move the product slowly forwards whenever I'm doing my blush or bronzer. And I always love to build. I used to think that you have to like slap on your makeup and then that was it. Like not slap it on, but like you could only dip your brush in once and then that's what you had to use on your face don't ask me why I thought that but building it has made my makeup look so much better it's also just saved me less frustration from trying to figure out how to blend it for like ever and a half when I put on a big streak of blush okay my under eyes are already creasing so I'm just going to take a bit more setting powder underneath to stop that. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna start filling in my brows, which I'm just using the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and I'm gonna start from the outer end of my eyebrows. I always start at the bottom and about like halfway, two thirds. I actually, I always extend my brows out more 
like i always put most of my product on this half of the brows basically from where my arch is and then at the front i barely put any in and i just spoolie it through so that it all looks blended and natural and there's the first brow i'm just gonna go and do the second one now I'm just gonna set them down with the benefit 24 hour brow setter So I don't want my brows getting all crazy pants on me. Sorry, looking for some. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I always misplace everything. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add a bit of sparkle and glam with this eyeshadow palette from Huda Beauty. And I'm just gonna start by taking bare and going all over kind of my upper just under my arch, if that makes sense. Like right, like right there. <laughs> now the next one that I'm gonna take is just like this kind of orangey one and that's gonna go all in my crease, but mostly in my outer corner. And then just on the other side. Now my lash that I'm doing on top is pretty heavy. So my favorite thing to do is I like to make the under of my eyes a bit more smoky and I'm gonna add a dark kind of black bold wing, which is what's gonna elevate this and make it a bit more glam. It doesn't say the name on the eyeliner, but I believe that this is, oh, it is the Makeup Revolution. Batman eyeliner, okay. <laughs> which sometimes when my eyeliners like to get a bit dead, I take like just the lid of something and I tap it sideways to get a bit more of the ink out. So then I can make my wing like bolder and quicker. I think that this, oh, it doesn't have a mirror in it. So I'm just gonna start by taking this and I just dragged it almost straight out to the side but on a slight up kind of almost connecting with the arch of my brow if that makes any sense now i'm just going to do the other side like that and then i usually like to start from the middle of mine and then connect it out to the wing and then you see how this one has a bit more of like a cat eye almost swoop i'm going to try to make it a bit more straight an angular is that the word angular i don't think that that's the right word but i'm gonna pretend like it is <laughs> i always just like make up random words and pretend like everyone else knows the meaning of it when i know what i'm trying to say but it literally makes no sense okay now i'm just gonna do the same on the other eye yeah so you can kind of see the difference in these whereas this one's a bit more I need to make them even. Okay, now I'm gonna add a bit of depth to the underneath my eyes so that like my eyes look kind of even on top and bottom. I don't know if that makes any sense. So I'm just looking right now for, here it is, I think. Yeah, oh, perfect. So I'm just using a little tiny angular brush. Angular. <laughs> I'm definitely making up words at this point, sorry. Um, haha, here it is. And then I'm using the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes palette, which just looks like this. It's literally my holy grail go-to if I need to go anywhere, I will bring this palette. It is the best, I cannot finish raving about it. Um, but I'm gonna take the dark brown color, which is just right here. It's almost black, but it's not quite as harsh as black. And I'm gonna start dragging that almost just right under my lash line on top of my lashes. The biggest thing is to make sure that you don't put this too, too low. Because otherwise it can look, almost make your eyes look like weird. I don't know how, at least it doesn't work for my eye shape whenever I drag this line like too below. <clears throat> <laughs> It doesn't work for me whenever I put this line too below just the underneath. You need to make it really, really tight with the liner.
Now you guys can kind of start to see what's going on there. I have that stuck in my head. Now, after I put the brown kind of underneath my eyes and it's pretty bold, I'm just gonna take this fluffy brush and close my eyes and just literally blend it out. Same thing on this side. Next step is to finally like fill in the liner, which I'm just gonna go with the exact same one. I swear, does anyone else do that? Like when they're doing your makeup and you have everything kind of laid out in front of you, or it's in your makeup bag and you can't see the one thing that you're looking for when it's literally right in front of your face. That's me, all day, every day. <laughs> okay, so now it's time to add mascara before I put on the lashes, which I'm just using this YSL one. I really, really love it for my bottom lashes and because I only personally use mascara on my top lashes to hide falsies, it doesn't really matter too much of the formula to me as long as it makes my lashes black. Now I'm just using these Lily Lashes. I believe that these ones are the Miamis. I've used them quite a few times. They're literally my favorites. And I'm gonna stick them on my eyes. I have this really not good eyelash glue allergy though, and I just refuse. I know Abby Roberts has an amazing lash glue that I've used before and didn't make my eyes go crazy, but it's just so hard. <laughs> I need to order it and get it shipped here. I really have no excuses. And then what I usually do to wait for my lashes to get tacky is I'll just take a makeup palette like this and just plop it over like this. And then the lash glue actually doesn't transfer onto anything. It literally just sits on top. And then I can put it on the other one and wait for it to get tacky. You know, we in a rush here. Well, not right now, but like, <laughs> a lot of people, let's save time on doing our makeup, guys. <laughs> now I'm just gonna let them sit for a second. Let them kind of dry so that it's way easier to just stick them on. And then I'm using these kind of like bigger tweezers. They're not like typical tweezers. I think they're lash tweezers. Me giving a makeup tutorial and literally not knowing the name of anything. <laughs> First one. My eyes are so watery. Yeah, these aren't stuck on right. One second, guys. <laughs> Which now, it looks like this. And before adjusting the band a bit more, I'm gonna stick on the other lash. I'm sorry that you guys can't really see this step too much. Okay, and now you can kind of see how they don't sit the same on my eyes. What I like to do is I always take these and I start to pinch them kind of into my lashes while they're still in place, but a little bit still damp and not fully dried. It also makes them a lot more comfortable. <laughs> now I'm just going to add a little bit more liner. And on this side, in my case, there's a little bit too much. So I'm just going to literally take my fingertip and wipe it off. Oh, there we go. Ta-da! Eyes are done. So next thing, kind of final last few things that I like to do 
I don't know why I don't do my nose contour with the rest of my makeup, but I always wait until after I'm done my eye makeup. And I just take a bit of the hula again, boop the underneath, and then I like to just take it on kind of the bridges, like this. And then the other side. Then I use this NYX Jumbo. I think it's, it's meant to be an eye pencil, but I use it as nose highlighter. Literally taking white. It looks crazy, but then I start to blend it out. And once, I just love blending things out with my finger. I think that fingers as a tool is underrated. You do not need to use a brush for everything. And then I'm using this kind of Sephora Pro palette, which I love this shade called Paparazzi in here. This one right here, oh no, Paparazzi and Hollywood. And once again, I'm just gonna take a little brush, kind of pat it in, and then just go down the bridge of my nose to give it some highlighter. And then I'm literally just gonna take my pinky, put it in and boop it on the front of my nose. And then what I'll do sometimes is I'll take like a bit of a bitter, a brush, sorry. I'm just taking the brush, pat. I'm just gonna add a little bit more blush to my nose cause I'm thinking it's looking, it's looking almost a little bit white and fair just from the white, white eye pencil. So just around the area, I'm gonna add a bit of dandelion. There we go. Okay, and then final last step, I actually found this trick on TikTok and it's taking your brow pencil and using it as lip liner and then filling in with like a pinky nude lipstick. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna be able to talk while I line my lips, unfortunately. <laughs> so it's gonna be kind of the same dead face. Now this is looking a little bit crazy right now, but now I'm gonna add my Makeup by Mario and this is in the shade Sam. And it's just like this and... Sorry, I'm just gonna, I was looking at my makeup and there's something weird with my eyes and I realized I didn't put enough kind of eyeliner in the inner corner like I thought I did. So I'm just gonna touch that up right now. I'm gonna go off camera just now to kind of straighten my hair and just put the rest of my stuff and get dressed and then I'll come back to show you guys the finished look. Here I am back and the very last thing I'm gonna do is put on my lip gloss. I always like to do this after I've done all my hair, after I'm dressed, after everything. Very last step is lip gloss because I find that my hair or whatever will get stuck on it. <laughs> I'm also going to layer the lip glosses a little bit and put on the Too Faced Lip Injections. I believe that this is from their Christmas one, and this is called Christmas Cookie. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something from my Get Ready With Me beauty routine or just had fun. And do not forget to subscribe to Jammo for other amazing content.